Hi everyone, welcome back to Dent Design. Today we are here with new video on ultra structure of enamel. Enamel, which is the outermost layer of the tooth, is made up of many enamel rods. So enamel rod is the smallest unit of enamel. But many features of these enamel rods cannot be seen with light microscope because of its limited resolution. So we see these features with the help of electron microscope. And this is known as the ultra structure of enamel, which we are going to discuss today. Now for your long question on structure of enamel, you have to cover so many things. But don't worry, we are going to discuss discuss each one of these in separate videos like in last video we have discussed the enamel rods in detail that is the first part and in today's video we are going to discuss the second part of this long question that is ultra structure of enamel so let's begin before we start i want you to quickly subscribe to dentos and if you have not done that till now that will help this channel grow also hit on the bell icon so that you remain notified about new videos now in most part of the human enamel it appears like enamel rods which are also known as enamel prisms surrounding these enamel rods is organic material which is known as rod sheath and in between these enamel rods there is another substance which is known as interrod enamel or interprismatic substance so this is one appearance but a more common pattern which is seen in enamel is called keyhole shaped pattern or keyhole shaped enamel rods also called paddle shaped prisms keyhole because it resembles the shape of keyhole that is your important viva question and it has two parts one part first part is known as the head or the body of the keyhole shaped rod and the second part is the tail part of this rod so in this video we are going to cover the ultra structure of enamel in four things four parts first we are going to discuss the electron microscopic appearance of these rods second we are going to discuss how the crystals are oriented and how they are seen in electron microscope third we are going to see the dimensions of enamel rod as well as crystal and fourth we are going to see how organic matrix is observed under electron microscope so let's discuss these four parts one by one first electron microscopy for that first we need to cut the sections of teeth so if the section is cut along the horizontal plane it is called the cross section of the tooth and if it is cut along the long axis of the tooth then it is called longitudinal section now electron microscopic appearance of enamel is different in cross section from the longitudinal section so two appearances are there first in the cross section what is the appearance what do you think you already know this is keyhole shaped appearance with the body or the head and the second part is the tail now in the longitudinal section what we see we see bodies then tails then bodies then tails so here we are seeing alternating arrangement alternating one after the another of bodies and tails this produces what is called rods separated by interrod so bodies are called rods and tails are called interrod now second point is the crystal orientation if we see in the cross section the crystals in the head part are in different way as compared to the tail part so crystal orientation is different in bodies than in tails bodies they are like this in tails they flare out and what about longitudinal section here also the crystal arrangement is different in bodies and tails for example if you see here in the bodies they are arranged like this and then in the tails they suddenly change their direction and become like this so there is an abrupt change in the crystal direction where the bodies and tails meet now why do we see these two different appearances on cross section and longitudinal section to understand that we need to visualize enamel in three dimensional view for that let's try to overlap cross section with longitudinal section just to understand this in the cross section what we see the enamel rods keyhole shaped enamel rods are arranged in rows so this is the one row one row of enamel rods then this is the second row of enamel rods so like that many rows are there so what is happening when we cut longitudinally the sections these are cut through the heads all the heads of the one row all the heads of the rods of one row are cut so they give us the appear as heads here heads or bodies of one row and then all the tails of adjacent row of the next row are cut so that will give tails then again the heads of next row are cut so they will produce heads so like that we get heads tails heads tails so in the longitudinal section so that you have to remember heads or bodies of one row are cut then tails of the adjacent row are cut which gives such appearance in the longitudinal section so if we remove the circles it will look like this if we further extend the cross section with the longitudinal section so in the cross section they are giving keyhole shape and on the longitudinal section they are giving alternating bodies and tails 
So if we try to understand how it is placed inside the enamel, it will look like this because enamel rods are cylindrical, but they run a wavy course. So they will be placed like this. Now let's try to understand it in three dimensional view by drawing one row of enamel rods. So it will be going like this. It will be running a wavy course. So this end of the rows is towards the dentino enamel junction and this end is towards the enamel surface. If we try to imagine it in 3D. So this is the three dimensional view cross section. So in cross section we will see this appearance and then this is the longitudinal section if we cut in long axis so we'll see this longitudinal section so if many such rows are drawn so enamel will give this appearance and if we try to give many cut cross sections at different planes so we can get different appearances on cross section so what all appearances can be seen we can see keyhole shape appearance that we have already discussed enamel rods can appear as staggered arches that is they may be arranged as series of arches or they can appear as stacked arches that is one over the another or they may appear as irregular patterns so all these appearances can be seen in the cross section under electron microscope another important thing that you need to know that where the heads of these enamel rods are pointing and where the tails of these enamel rods are pointing so when inside the enamel the heads or the bodies are towards the occlusal or the incisal surfaces incisal surfaces in case of incisors so where will be the tails in the opposite direction that is tails point cervically towards the cervical direction so let's understand this by magnifying this area so it will appear like this so in the cross section these are the keyhole shape enamel rods and this is the longitudinal section so it will appear like this and if we try to see the heads so all the heads they are pointing towards the occlusal direction and all the tails they are pointing towards the cervical direction so these are your two important entrance and fiber questions now we come to the second part that is crystal orientation we know the crystals in body are in different direction than the tail so let's try to understand by visualizing in both cross section and longitudinal section by coloring the different different colors of crystals in bodies and tails so in bodies if we can see these purple colored crystals they are arranged parallel to the long axis parallel and in the tail part if you see where we are depicting them by orange color they are flaring out so they are at an angle to the long axis they are at an angle so in the body or the head they are parallel to the long axis parallel to the long axis and in the tail they deviate at 65 degree angle to the long axis now further within the body or the head region two types of crystal orientation is seen as we see in three dimensions so what why so because the body or the head region itself can be divided into two more parts that is the central part or the core of the head and the peripheral part or the periphery of the head so body or head tail body or head has two parts core and periphery now let's see how is the crystal orientation in these three parts so in the central part or the core of the body or the head crystals are parallel to the long axis so they are arranged at zero degree so they are parallel to long axis when we come to the periphery of the head crystals become 45 degree to the long axis 45 degree to the long axis and when we come to the tail region as we can see here so crystals become 65 degree to the long axis so they are arranged at 65 degree so that is your important entrance or viva question the crystal arrangement in three areas now we come to the third part that is dimensions of enamel rod and dimensions of crystal region dimensions of rod the diameter is 4 micrometer length of these enamel rods is 9 micrometers and breadth is 5 micrometers now what about crystals we can, if we try to cut a section passing parallel to the long axis of the crystals that is not possible because they are arranged in different directions so there are many questions regarding the length there are very doubts so it is estimated to vary between 0.05 and 1 micrometer 
and if we cut a cross section so we can see the width is 90 nanometer thickness is 30 nanometer or it can be in the ranges width of 60 to 70 nanometer and thickness 25 to 30 nanometers remaining details about the crystals that what are they made up of their shape the arrangement of the ions we have discussed in the chemical properties of enamel so please go through that video now we are going to discuss the organic matrix to understand that first let's see that we are saying that enamel rod has body and tail but we are also saying that body is called the rod and tail is called the interrod so that is an old terminology that is old terminology but now the entire body and tail is referred to as rod so when we see these keyhole shaped enamel rods now the crystal orientation is different in the rods and interrods but this difference is very significant it is significant in the three-fourth circumference of the rod so this is the three-fourth circumference of the rod so here the crystal orientation between the inter rod and rods is significantly different because of which a space is created here a space is created here in this three-fourth circumference which gets filled with organic material which is known as rod sheet and which on electron microscope will appear like this so this space gets filled and it appears like a black area so we see rod sheet only in these areas as seen here also it was seen that in early investigators they using electron microscope they described that these fine organic wave drills they run throughout the rods and inter rods with the improvement in the preparatory methods, it has been seen that these organic fibers, organic material may also be present around the each crystal like an envelope. So let's come to the summary of this video now. Ultrastructure of enamel, four things. First, electron microscopy of enamel rods. Cross section, they give keyhole shaped enamel appearance. And in longitudinal section, they give body and tail alternating with each other. Now, crystal orientation is different in bodies and tails in the cross section. And abrupt changes in crystal orientation is seen in the longitudinal section. Now, coming to the angulation of these crystals in the core or the center of the head, they are at zero degree that is parallel to long axis on the periphery they are at 45 degree angulation to the long axis and in the tail they are at 60 to 65 degree angulation dimensions of rod breadth 5 micrometers length 9 micrometers and diameter 4 micrometers if we talk about crystal length can be 0.05 to 1 microns width 60 to 90 and thickness 25 to 30 nanometers now, if we talk about the organic matrix, it may be present around the three-fourth circumference of the enamel rod and with recent improvement in methods, they are seen as envelope around the crystals. So, let's check what have we learned. First, what is the electron microscopic appearance of enamel in cross-section? Then, electron microscopic appearance in longitudinal section. Crystal orientation in body or head. Crystal orientation in tail region of the keyhole shaped rod then what are the dimensions of enamel rod and what are the dimensions of hydroxyapatite crystal so that is all for this video if you really like the video do tap on the like button and share the video with your friends keep watching keep smiling keep learning and good luck for your exams see you in the next video till then take care bye bye